Hi guys, it's Luton here, and um, today I started, I've got a bit of a concept art. Now you remember before that I did the map for Battlefield 3. Now today, um, it's actually for Dust 514, and I started just doodling around. I was literally just playing around with some colour, and then it started turning into an image, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll kind of work with this. And then I started doing a little bit more work on it in the evening, and before you knew it, I finished an image, and I thought, oh, okay. So I decided to make a little video, a bit more in-depth about this sort of process than the one I did before for Battlefield. Now you can see here, what I was doing was just running through the levels, just showing how I've built up the image, and you see that you start off with a very raw kind of uh, rough background image, and you just work through the detail, adding more elements in, adding the plants in, adding highlights, adding characters. Um, and then we're gonna go into a little bit of footage here that I recorded whilst I was actually doing it, uh, sped it up. But it was more in the kind of very last kind of 10% stage where I was just adding in sort of detail highlights and stuff so you can see most of the main image is really in place here and what I'm doing is just blending adding detail adding darkness into sort of the textures of the of the background and the detail of the trees and we'll just we'll just take a little look at each element as it goes on but if you like these kind of videos I'd like to know because um, I, you know I can easily do some more I'm actually working on a couple of other kind of battlefield things at the moment and what I'm really doing here look is I'm just adding in kind of shapes and roughness this area wasn't blended too well and I just wanted to add in some more kind of elements and shapes. Uh, the idea with this this whole image is that it's kind of like a, a dust 514 planet, a jungle planet. I live, I, you know, there's a lot of open areas, I like the idea of a kind of rough, you know, you have to sort of push through the leaves and there's a lot of combat maybe as you fire, things explode around and trees. I mean, I know it doesn't have that kind of engine, but this is just a concept art. So it's just a, it's just a little bit of imagination for me, just thinking of how cool it would be to have that kind of stuff. And uh, so again, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of strengthening, building things up. As you go along, you know, you might look at elements in the game and, you know, I'm sort of adding highlights into these pieces here. It's always the kind of last little bits that you do, just adding that little extra finesse that you want onto an image. Uh, any area that I think just needs a bit of strengthening. Uh, one thing that I hadn't done was with the leaves. Um, uh, these kind of leaves, they're very easy to make, these kind of alien leaves. It's just literally a case of making lassoes and, uh, you know, sort of colouring it, basically. But um, I wanted to add a little bit of detail onto some of these leaves, make them a little bit more individual. And the other thing was that none of them had um, sort of stems, okay? They all were sort of just floating leaves, and uh, so I really wanted to add in some stems there. So what I was doing was on one layer below this, uh, just adding sort of darkness, and then on the actual layer itself, adding a light color. So you've got that sort of the, the depth of the stem, but with a little highlight on top. So you can see I'm just adding in different colors from this. Uh, I think the whole image ended up looking a little bit avatarish in the end because of the kind of turquoise glow that it had onto it. But it, again, I didn't really intend to make this into an image even. It was just literally a doodle and it ended up sort of turning into this whole thing. So uh, yeah, it was fairly easy to do. Um, if you guys have got anything that you would like to, me to sort of suggest to draw, I'd be happy to kind of try and do that. Um, I do have, as I say, the guy, uh, Alan Kurtz, or a Demise, from Battlefield, from DICE, uh, he actually suggested to me, I sent him a tweet a while ago saying like, you know, if you could have a map design, what would you want it to be? And he said it's mashed to a city. Uh, which people may remember from sort of previous Battlefield 2, um, combined with the village, which people might know that map as well. So what I did was um, I, I decided that if it was going to be an update of a map, I wouldn't maybe start from scratch. Although I might do a slightly, I might do a t kind of a rough two perspective, like a, 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 a set image and then a kind of combat style image. Um, I've been working on one. What I did was I picked up the map for Master City. There's a great panoramic map and I decided rather than work from scratch what I would do is take that original sort of blueprint uh, map and then I would draw over it and improve it. The idea that it's been kind of updated so the idea that perhaps you know 15 years have passed and the city has been kind of improved and, and built upon. Um, so that's my design idea for that one which will be coming up. I'm getting kind of towards the end. It's been taking me forever because uh, designing that kind of landscape and, and sort of blending and trying to you know combine new elements, add things in, how do I want the colors to look is quite tricky. It's almost harder than doing this. This was obviously from scratch. Um, I had no reference image. It was literally just out of my head. Um, but oh, stop working with an image that already exists and can sometimes I think be more difficult because you have to work with the colors that are sort of in that palette already and I don't know something about it, it you can't be as loose and free and I, I think having an image already there kind of constrains you in your mind so that can be a bit difficult just adding in some very very final details here um, little flies because they're in the jungle I added some birds and stuff like that pterodactyl or whatever you know some crazy things last little touch here signature as always and then we'll just have a little look at the image. So 
So we're just going to zoom in and just look at a couple of elements here. Just black out the background. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today, guys. Um, as I say, if, if you want some more of these kind of videos, please let me know. Uh, if you like the video, please drop it a like and that will let me know that you, you want to see some more of this stuff. Um, let me know if you want to see some more Dust, more Battlefield. Is there a different game you would like me to concept art? Is there a retro game you would like me to concept art? You know, a different, an old style game. Uh, make it something unusual if it's going to be a, an old style game, not just like, you know, I don't know, Mario or Sonic or whatever. <laughs> make it something interesting. Um, and yeah, maybe then I'll do a, a bit more of these. They are quite time intensive. It's not going to, you know, I mean, this one took me, I don't know, three hours, something like that. I know some people can work faster than that, but that's how long it takes me because I tend to fiddle around a lot. And there we go, that's the whole image. So thanks for watching today, guys. And as I say, leave your feedback. And uh, some more Battlefield, some more dust stuff. I've got a whole dust thing coming up very soon. And I'll uh, see you for that one. Thanks for watching.